and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey. Thanks for stopping by Essentially Book today. So today I'm going to be talking about my September TBR and this is like hopeful books. It's not necessarily what I will read but I'm kind of excited because with fall coming like I'm going to be doing things that embrace fall and read books that really like embody that mood for me and so I will be very excited it's still hot here it's like 88 today and we had a day where it was like 70 and I opened up my windows I made soup like <laughs> I'm so ready for fall and for fall reading just to be cozy and not be hot like I want to wear sweatshirts all day long and cozy pants but it's hot I just can't deal right now so I'm really hoping for fall to get here and I'm excited for September because usually that's when it happens like it's still we're gonna have some false fall and then we'll go back to a summer and then have like actual fall but it's football season like tailgating just all sorts of fun stuff um I'm very excited for September and whatever it may bring um because a I'm a mood reader and b I have a lot of library books on hold right now and that can totally like just shift my reading plans. I know for October it's like spooky season, spooky season, horror, witches. I'm kind of feeling witch vibes so I think that's what I'm planning for October. So September is going to be kind of wrapping up some loose ends and um, some buddy reads and just all that stuff. So first I'm going to start with buddy reads and book club picks. Um, the first one that I'm for sure reading this month is Wilder Girls, which is for my in real life book club. It is, um, I think the, a Lambda winner. So my in real life book club, we're doing award winners and then, um, just picking a book based off the random award that wins for that month. So we've done the National Book Award. I think Lambda is our second one. So Wilder Girls is up next this like hair that's really bothering me. And then my other in real person book club we're re reading Once Upon a Wardrobe but I've already read that and I loved it so I'm reading Patty Callahan's other book about C.S. Lewis which is called Becoming Mrs. Lewis. So I'm pretty confident I'm gonna love it. So that's another one I'm reading for that's just book clubs. I don't know what the Modern Mrs. Darcy book club is but if I remember what it is I will add that um here. I can't recall if I'm that excited about it. So I might just skip it this month and catch up on some backlog from that book club that I have not read yet. So then a carryover from last month that I did not get to is 10 Tomatoes That Changed the World. You can watch my previous video about that, but this is the nonfiction book I would love to get to. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just, we'll go with library books and then from there. So I have three library books that are four library books that have come in um ninth house which I'm still I'm kind of slowly reading this and then an enchantment of ravens which my friend Bailey recommended to me I don't know much about it it's fantasy um this is in the 12 books I want to read from 12 friends that was like a challenge going around Instagram at the beginning of the year I think I've read four books so far so I've got a bit of work I need to do on that and then this was a currently reading press it's called The Golden Season and it takes place in Texas. It's a woman who comes out in very conservative Texas and where the church really matters and like football really matters. So I've heard it kind of described as if you loved God Spare the Girl or God Save the Girls, which I did, mixed with Friday Night Lights, you'll love this. And so that like put it in my veins. I love anything that looks at faith from a perspective of deconstructing and like addressing harms but also like being accepting and loving of others so I'm really really excited about this I'll probably pick it up this weekend if I'm being honest and then the next stack will be buddy read I have so many books right now okay so then I'm doing two buddy reads this month um the tenant of Wildfell Hall with my friend Carrie she brought this up as like a classic she wanted to read and I've owned it forever so it will be the last like Bronte sister I haven't read is Anne Bronte and I've heard great things about this so the tone of Wild Wildfell Hall Wildfell Wildfell I don't know uh, but yeah I'm gonna read this I know very little about it probably will go in blind because it's a classic it'll be fine I'll either love it or I'll hate it like whatever and I do find going into some books blind is better, especially classics and it's gothic. So I think I will enjoy it. And then I'm continuing to read The Name of the Wind. This is for a currently reading buddy read and it will be, I think we're meeting at the end of the month. So I have a lot of work. I'm only like 10 chapters in, 
got a lot to do on this one. Um, this will probably be the bulk of my reading this month. And then there's the Stranger Things readathon, which is going on um, September 5th through the 11th, I think. The Stranger Things readathon is coming up. And so I'm going to do some prompts from that. Not all of them, but just enough to hit books that I've wanted to read. One of the prompts is a book with multiple points of view. So I'm going to finish Louise Penny, The Madness of Crowds. This is the most um, up to date. She has a new one coming out in November and then I'll be totally caught up on the series. I love the series so much. And um, it, this will also fulfill Books and Jams is doing like a series readathon to just tackle series. And so that's what I'm also using for this. Um, but it is The Madness of Crowds by Louise Penny. I'm really excited. I think she feels like fall to me more than any other author. So when I read Louise Penny, it's a mood for me and I just want to be cozy and like enjoy my life. So this is um, one book I am for sure reading in September. And then another one is a psychological thriller and all the girls that are hosting this I feel like have, um, wow I almost threw that at my face. A lot of girl, the girls who are hosting this have just raved about Behind Her Eyes and it's a thriller I've just ignored. Um, and so this will be a psychological thriller and I'm real pumped about it just to knock it off my list finally. And I'm sure it'll be one that I'll just read super fast because sometimes you just need a book that will like help you get lost real quick. And I think this will be it for me. I'm just kind of craving like a book that I that's unput downable right now. And I hope that this will be that book. Everybody has raved about it in reading sprints and so there's also a Netflix show so it'll be really fun to read this and then go watch the Netflix show. And then I think the last one is like a book with light on the cover or a light source on the cover. So I'm going to do Book of Night by Holly Black. I've never read anything by Holly Black uh, but there's a moon and stars and stuff on it. So I this is her adult book so you know I'm a little nervous that it's not going to give me like an honest depiction of her as an author but it is different than her YA. So like, even if I hate this one, I will go and read her fantasy, um, her YA fantasy, because I have a feeling I'm gonna adore it anyway. And then I know I'm picking up Runtime by Katherine Ryan Howard from the library. I can't remember if there's any other books that I'm hoping to read this month. Okay, so you're gonna get ready with me for a little bit. Um, because I made my September TBR video and totally forgot what I'm going to be reading with the Literally Dead Book Club hosted by Books and Lala. Um, we're going to be reading the It Girl by Ruth Ware, which is exciting for me because I've never read anything by Ruth Ware and I really want to. And so I don't know much about it. I think I'm just going to go on blind. I think that um, I'll really like it. Like I just... I feel like I read, for someone who doesn't read horror or thrillers very much, but like wants to and does enjoy them, um, I'm really glad that I've really gotten into Books and Lala's channel because I feel like every book I've read that like she's recommended I've loved. Um, and I think she's an Enneagram 8. I just feel like I really do like her stuff. So like I'm excited to read with where Ruth Ware. Ruth Ware, <laughs> Ruth Ware, because I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. So yeah, The It Girl, it was a book of month, the month that I didn't grab, so I'm gonna grab it next month as one of my add-ons. But I think between those readathons, I have quite a good stack. It'll be a very um, mood ready month. So that is my wrap up of my TBR for the month. Who knows if I read them all, but may the odds be ever in my favor, I guess. And I hope you all have a lovely month. And if you want to share, if you've read any of those books that I talked about, please let me know in the comments. I'm so curious. And then what is the most anticipated book for you in September? Um, I'm so thankful you stopped by today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to follow along as I grow my channel. Bye guys. <laughs>